Hey everybody, this is Wolf359 coming back at you. Uh, it's been a good while since I've posted another video on YouTube. But the uh, video I want to do today is on Jellyfin. So what we're going to do, I'm going to walk through the steps, setting up the data set, and then down, uh, installing Jellyfin. Uh, I've already done one data set that's the media with the videos and all that that I want on there so I know everybody knows how to do a Samba share on uh, True Dance or so I have not I, I can go through that one day on how to set up the Samba share with uh, True Nas scale but uh, right now what I want to do is we're going to come over to the data set. Sorry, cut Jellyfin, but nothing under it right now. So we don't have the storage, we don't have the catch, and we don't have the transcode. But uh, what we're going to do, we're going to click on Jellyfin. I'm going to add a data set. I'm going to call it storage. Storage, and we're going to do this as apps. Add two more. I'm just going to do a CHA. I think that's how it's spelled. It don't matter. I will look at it and we'll know what it is once we get back into it oh lord I put it in the wrong one <laughs> so we're gonna come here and we're just gonna go ahead and delete this again we're gonna delete this out of test uh, yeah I learned my lesson because I had well, one of the apps is uh, apps storage features and all that all its data sets set individually so I got that fixed and all but it was on here originally it was called image so but I moved it over to uh, my main my main server and all it's running uh, my main servers running Plex it's not running Jellyfin this time but we're gonna call it that we call this one there's only three data sets that we need storage this catch and we're going to call it apps <coughs> uh, I'm going to call this trans code and we're going to set it as apps also okay we got our three set up and we got our media we got it set for samba I'm going to come over. I have MB running. Uh, file browser. I did try to mess with uh, Jelly fin with MB with file browser and I had a little issue. i got to work on it a little bit more and see instead of using like a Samba. It, it was just weird but I'm going to get back into that but let's just <laughs> won't worry about that right now. We'll move into that later in another video that I do. Uh, but we're going to come over here, we're going to discover the app, or we can just click on anything that's uh, media like the MB that's already installed, and we got Jellyfin. So what we're going to do on Jellyfin, application name, I'm just going to leave it as Jellyfin. Version, it's up to its update. You can change the time zone, publish server URL, so if you're using something different, but uh, we'll probably come back to Jellyfin one day or MB and try to run it through Nginx proxy and do it that way so we won't have to ha go through port forwarding on Nginx uh, on on this on the server and all so we're not opening up other ports we're using the ports that we want, want. So in the network configs, the web UI port is 3,313, my bad. And the storage configs. Now well, here's where we're storage configs. So we're gonna add in that storage config. Jellyfin, storage, catch, 
or however we want to say it. I don't care. I know I'm saying it wrong. Y'all can laugh. It's okay. So we're going to do the transcode. I'm going to do test jellyfin transcode. Here's the other thing. When doing this, you have to add additional storage. So Jellyfin sees your media data, data that you're doing. So we can call it, but we have to do, always do forward slash. Do whatever you want to call it. And you can come down here, go through the path, click on media, and just give it this whole do the whole the same name forward slash mount forward slash test media you can call it forward slash movies forward slash tv shows forward slash whatever so such and such but that's our media so we're gonna click we're gonna save and we're gonna let it install uh it's gonna take it a little bit installing because it's pulling all the images and files that it needs to run but right now we're gonna we'll come back to it once it's installed all right we're back uh jellyfin's installed now it's deploying so we'll give it a little bit let it finish deploying everything and it should start running we can look at the log configs and see what's going on right now Updating plugins complete. Clearing. Okay. So it should be close to running. Okay. So let's just let's go into the web UI and start this up. Uh, we can welcome the Jellyfin. We can do the quick start guide. Wizard will help you guide through and so forth. If we want to do that, we can. Or we can just do the next 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 and get that all done preferred language so uh, jellyfin gives you a lot of different languages so forth but we're gonna stick with English uh, username I'm gonna do my username that I usually do is just wolf password my secret my secret password very secret really it's not a secret to most people in my family but uh it is secret no it's not really um we can come here set up our first library so we're going to come we're going to find that's our movies we're going to add in our media library so we're going to go okay We can do other things, but we can get all all into this later. We have our first library set up, so it's movies, and you can name. We can come over here. We can call it movies. Then we can come over here, display name, call it something else, so forth. But we're not right now. We're just going to do our first library. I'm going to come over in language, English, country, and region, United States. Yes, that's where I'm from, the United States. We're not going to do port mapping, allow remote connection to the server, so we're going to do that. Yeah, so if we uncheck this, it'll block any connections trying to get in. We'll just leave it like that. And we're done. We're going to click finish. And we're going to sign in with our username and our secret password. Not really strong or secret. So there we go. We've got a couple movies coming up. We can come here. We can do a refresh of our media. And just see what it does. We'll do Wolf again. And we'll click remember me. And we got every movie done. Come look. 
working with Jellyfin. It's open source and all. Mm, open source, movies, you name it. Uh, home. You can go into the settings, the dashboard of the settings, so we can see the server name, the server version, web version, build version. We can scan and lay up the libraries, restart, shut down. Uh, we can go into our general and change the server name if we want to. Users, we can add more users if we want to. Uh, the one thing I do like about like doing the users or anything, uh, we can add. I think this is like MB. Where I'll just get it that. We'll save that. I'm t so yeah. Uh, so we're not allowing the server at all. Parental controls. So I, I, I like parental controls because I do I do have young teen uh, children and all that. So that's one thing. I don't have this running on my main server. I have uh, what I have is Plex running on my main server. But that's the one thing I do like about this. So we can say remote block items with no or unrecognized ratings movies uh, we can do like approved G PG so we can allow PG TV PG blah blah so forth all the way uh, just PG 13 movies uh, TV 14 N X band so forth so we, we don't have to anything like that uh, the libraries we can come through here add new libraries displays display folder review to show M metadata uh, NFO settings release date format save in which is a fourth copy uh, playbacks, transcoding, resume streaming, trick play. Uh, here's the transcoding that I do want to try to do is I want to add in my add in a GPU down the line and all that and get it recognized with TrueNAS and get it set up since they got a good deal. It's easy for, for TrueNAS to set up for recognize getting uh, your GPUs and all set so it's usually advanced settings and all the way down so devices so yeah so if we want it to but we I don't have no GPUs installed and everything so it's pretty much simple on it uh, devices what's connected so my computer running on the Chrome active Uh, TV we can add in DVR because in MB, uh, not MB, Jellyfin's all open source plugins we can add in plugins category catalogs code so forth TVs we keep on and on network uh, if we are this is the local port we are gonna open and all API key we can add in the API key if we want it to logs we can see our logs uh, schedule, schedule tasks and this is all the tasks that it does so that's pretty much it on the how to install and set up jellyfin on TrueNAS scale but uh, if there's anything anybody else needs to know on Jellyfin or wants to know, uh, you can hit me up. I'll leave my, I got a Discord going on right now, so you can hit me up on Discord. Uh, or uh, leave me a message on, on the video and all, and 
I'll get back to you as soon as possible. I have been working with a gentleman right now, back and forth with uh, Nextcloud. We're working on that together, trying to figure out uh, things with Nextcloud. He's doing it as a VM. I'm running it as the app and all. So we're, we're working at it in between talking. But I'll get with y'all on, on getting the Discord for you. I'll leave it in the comments, the description below, so you can get into the Discord. Uh, but please like, share, and subscribe. This is Wolf359 signing out.